Hello and welcome to the SWS Natu Natu series and this is an important video as far as your physics examination is concerned which is on the 17th of March and in this video I'm going to talk about the mistakes that are very common which your seniors made maybe some of you made even in your pre-board examination so this video in that sense becomes critical in order to ensure that you do not make the same mistakes okay also before that you need to understand the format of the paper itself hey na? Uh, how many marks weightage does each chapter carry right or uske hisab se agar aap prepare karenge, if you prepare according to the weightage it will also give you a sense that yes this particular chapter is that much more important than this chapter not to say that the second chapter has to be ignored but you know that if you prepare this chapter well you are taking care of x number of marks as far as your physics paper is concerned so let's go through that so knowing your facts is very important but before that ensure that you subscribe to the channel because there is a lot more content coming up not just for the 10th class but even for your 11th and 12th class and cuet okay and this is all part of the sws not to not to series so let's get started without wasting any time know your physics know your facts that's the focus of this particular short and crisp video stay Till the end of the video now the chapter wise weightage okay this was given to me by a senior board examiner so this comes from reliable sources the force work power energy and simple machines that accounts for approximately 24 marks of a paper i'm talking of the entire 100 marks if you have to also talk about the choice questions okay so don't total and say to 100 ka hai, okay because it includes the choice questions also so this is going to be approximately 24 marks there could be plus minus two marks three marks here and there but that's going to be the weightage so 24 out of your 100 marks and if you are going to attempt the force machines chapter force energy chapter you can say for 24 out of 80 marks itself so 24 marks almost 24 percent is going to be just from these chapters then you have the light which is the the light the light of knowledge the light of learning that has the maximum weightage of 26 marks the sound chapter is for 11 marks okay the electricity chapter which many students find a little complicated is for 13 marks then you have the electromagnetism for 8 marks the heat chapter for 10 marks and radioactivity for 8 marks so this is the chapter wise weightage of each chapter as far as your physics class 10 examination is concerned so is per dhyan dijay so you need to ensure that in the time that you have before the examination i'm not saying you need to ignore any you you can't afford to ignore radioactivity and radioactivity and electromagnetism just because they are only of eight marks each no you need to focus on that but you need to ensure that these two chapters the first two ch chunks is may say aapki theory or aapke numericals practice hone chahiye so that you are taking care of a very strong chunk of 15 marks just from these two chapters these two chunks okay so that was the idea behind showing you the chapter wise weightage in fact one student had asked me about it also now let's come to the some of the common mistakes that uh, many of your seniors made okay there are about eight to nine of them so let's go through that each one of them the right unit what exactly does it mean now please ensure that you practice the conversion of the cgs units into the si units and vice versa okay that's important the more times you do it you get more comfortable with it okay and express your answers only in si units unless otherwise asked unless the question says that you need to express it in some other unit not an si unit otherwise you should always express your final answer in SI unit. Please remember this. Also, always write the correct unit for the final answer. Uh, and I repeat, read what unit the question is asking you to express the final answer in. Okay, that's important. Now, the second one is about the numericals. Formula and numericals. Now, what happens is that when you do the numericals, ensure that you put the formula right up front 
एग्जामिनर को बता दो कि ये फॉर्मूला है मुझे फॉर्मूला मालूम है आई नो द फॉर्मूला एंड इट्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस फॉर्मूला दैट आई विल बी सॉल्विंग दिस न्यूमेरिकल सो प्लीज पुट द फॉर्मूला राइट ऑन टॉप ऑफ द वाइल सॉल्विंग द न्यूमेरिकल इन द टाइम दैट यू हैव बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन एनश्योर दैट यू प्रैक्टिस अ लॉट ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल्स and i'll tell you why this is so important and in fact i would say there are three advantages of practicing a lot of numericals one it trains your mind to process the question in the examination hall much faster the more number of numericals you practice your mind gets trained to process okay ye question hai ye pucha gaya hai so i need to apply this formula to arrive at this solution right so your mind works faster आपका जो माइंड का कंप्यूटर है दैट स्टार्ट्स प्रोसेसिंग फास्टर द स्पीड बिकम्स फास्टर सो द मोर यू प्रैक्टिस दैट्स द फर्स्ट एंड बिग एडवांटेज द सेकंड एडवांटेज इज दैट यू हेल्प इट हेल्प्स यू टू कैलकुलेट फास्टर एंड इट आल्सो काइंड ऑफ टेल्स यू दैट ओके दीज आर द कॉमन mathematical calculation errors that i end up making व्हिच आई शुड ट्राई टू अवॉइड इन द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल सो इफ यू डू से अबाउट से 20 सम्स and in five sums you have made a very common mistake of calculation you know that okay i have this problem it makes you aware of that problem and you should try and avoid that problem in the examination hall right so that's a second advantage three it helps you understand the concept better what is exactly a numerical numerical is essentially trying to apply the concept the understanding of the concept in order to solve a particular problem hai na it's pretty much like a very प्रिमेटिव फॉर्म ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग राइट आपने पढ़ा है थ्योरी पढ़ा है उस थ्योरी को आप अप्लाई कर रहे हैं इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व अ पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम दैट्स प्रिसाइसली यू नीड टू डू सो इट ऑल्सो हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट बेटर सो प्लीज इंश्योर दैट यू टेक आउट टाइम वॉट एवर मे आर्स फाइव आर्स सिक्स आर्स एंड जस्ट कीप सॉल्विंग न्यूमेरिकल्स दैट्स वॉट यू नीड टू डू इन द टाइम दैट यू हैव लेफ्ट बिटवीन नाउ एंड दी फिजिक्स एग्जामिनेशन ना हाउ डू यू प्रैक्टिस न्यूमेरिकल्स दिस इज अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द सिंपल वन अगर अभी तक आपने कोई भी सॉल्व नहीं किए हैं तो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द सिंपल वन एंड ग्रेजुअली मूव टू द कॉम्प्लेक्स वन ओके नंबर टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला बेस्ड न्यूमेरिकल्स टू एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग बेस्ड न्यूमेरिकल्स सो दैट शुड बी द प्रोसेस दैट शुड बी द काइंड ऑफ जर्नी दैट यू शुड अंडरटेक सिंपल वन टू स्लाइटली मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स वन direct formula based to application and understanding based so these four kinds of numericals is what you should try and solve before the examination third part is about definitions and keywords okay definitions along with keywords have to be learned because you do get at least a couple of definitions in which they will essentially look at whether this particular keyword has been used so whatever definition you are learning from your textbook preferably from your textbook or whatever notes have been provided to you is to ensure that you do include that particular keyword in that particular definition that's important because you cannot substitute words there is in physics there is always a difference let's say between reflection and scattering between resistance and resistivity right or between dispersion of light and scattering of light there is a difference so you cannot substitute words like that right or substitute karoge to marks aapke katenge because that's not the keyword that they are looking for there is a difference so please ensure that you know the keywords for every definition jo bhi definition ho light chapter se ho sound chapter se ho heat chapter se ho kisi bhi chapter se ho you need to know the definition accordingly okay so that's something very important next let's come to uh, now yes yeah, another point which i need to this thing that some people may say that definitions ko ratta marna padega see uh, it's always better in physics if you understand what is the definition trying to say if you understand what the definition is trying to say and then focus on the keywords it becomes more easy to register it in your mind okay so that's what uh, it's like you know your mind if it's like your phone and it scans the qr code of that particular definition of that particular concept to process karne mein easy ho jayega okay it gets into your memory faster now do not leave the answer in fraction form always convert it into decimals this is another common mistake which many students make okay 
then uh, as far as diagrams are concerned what is what is it that you need to bear in mind as far as diagrams are concerned virtual images should be made with the help of dotted lines okay practice ray diagrams very important also focus on the police part of the chapter so these are some of the diagrams that you need to practice so that upkar not just being neat but also in being precise and accurate uske marks milte hain so your precision and accuracy matters neatness and a very tidy diagram obviously will impress the examiner better okay and when you are making a diagram ensure that uske upar aur niche bahut zyada congested matter na dale leave enough space around the diagram so that it kind of is clear ensure that you are also carrying a sharp pencil and this applies both for physics as well as for biology okay a sharp well sharpened good quality pencil that's again very important reason based questions these are very important there are i think two videos of reason based questions which are there on the youtube channel please go and have a look at it uh, please prepare them because reason based questions aate hain and they can be from different chapters so please ensure that you know the reason based questions again just like definition the use of keywords in reason based questions becomes very important so please ensure keywords and you are able to explain why a certain uh, incident happens or why a certain what's the reason for something taking place right why are soldiers asked to break step when they are crossing a bridge what's the reason so you should be able to explain in detail using the keywords okay now uh, कीवर्ड से एक और बात आपको ध्यान रखनी है अंडरलाइन द कीवर्ड्स इससे फायदा ये होगा कि इट विल हाईलाइट इट बेटर टू द एग्जामिनर सो अंडरलाइन द कीवर्ड्स यू कैन डू इट वाइल यू आर राइटिंग यू डोंट नेसेसरी नीड टू अगर ब्लू पेन से लिखा है तो ब्लैक से अंडरलाइन करने का जरूरत नहीं है कर सकते हैं तो ठीक है बट मेनी टाइम्स यू मे नॉट गेट टाइम ड्यूरिंग द रिविजन टू डू दैट सो वाइल राइटिंग इट इफ यू नो दिस इज द की जस्ट अंडरलाइन इट स्ट्रेट अवे देर विदाउट चेंजिंग द पेन दैट्स ओके द होल आइडिया इज टू अंडरलाइन एंड हाईलाइट इट बेटर टू दी examiner okay so that is something which you can do um, while answering the question this is the last point do not change the order of the sub questions agar fourth question ke char parts hai for example 1 2 3 4 don't start with the third one then go to the second one then fourth then first no go first second third fourth agar aapko first nahi malum hai so obviously i don't see any reason why you should even attempt that particular choice because you have choice as far as part b is concerned part 2 is concerned so go for that so but preferably follow the same order don't try to make it difficult for the examiner the idea is that you should make it easy for the examiner to give you big marks right so don't make it you know don't irritate the examiner ki are pehle third gaya hai again he'll have to look at the question paper now he has gone to second then he has gone to fourth don't irritate the examiner because examiners garmi ke mahine mein check kar rahe honge all that kind of jazz so you want to keep the examiner happy and impress the examiner it's in your own interest hai na so do that follow the same order of the questions as far as the uh, examination paper is concerned time management ka jahan tak sawal hai ensure that you do part a first because mcqs wagera you would have already seen it in the 15 minutes 15 minutes of time management may ensure that you choose which are the questions you are going to attempt in part b of the paper that's important part a ka jahan tak sawal hai you will look at the mcq so that you can get done with the mcqs in a jiffy look at the rest of the part a so that you follow the same sequence it's always better okay so that's the format you should necessarily follow i would say give approximately about uh, 15 to 18 odd minutes for each question that should be good enough so that the second half hour one hour could be for part b and the first uh, one hour may you should be able to finish off Uh, part A in about the 40 minutes because uh, much of it is in MCQ format. You should be able to finish it much faster. Ensure this is important. Ensure that you have 10 minutes at least for revision. हर चीज को देखे keywords use किए हैं नहीं calculations सही हैं या नहीं units सही तरह से express किया है नहीं formula लिखा है या नहीं diagrams neat है या नहीं marking की है या नहीं all these things you need to look at the revision so 10 minutes of revision time is absolutely imperative in the physics examination paper i hope you found this video useful please continue to stay connected with sws not to not to series because there will be lot more content coming up right through the month of march 2023 thank you very much tata bye bye all the best